I need to take a deep breath. Black people are being tormented worldwide. And this pissing me off. I don't know what it's going to take for black people to come together to have their own conference to decide, okay, it's time for us to unite to fight these fucking demons. You understand? It's not just in the Congo. It's not just in the Sudan, in America, Brazil. We're being tormented everywhere. I don't know if y'all know what's going on in Haiti right now, but Haiti has descended into chaos because America was behind the assassination of the Haitian president. Okay? That's one. They also armed these street gang, these little street thugs with AK-47, U.S. made guns because America want to run people off their land, especially the land where they identify resources. Also land where they want to take over, just like they've taken over black people's land in America. They're doing the same shit in Haiti. America has always played a role in the destruction of Haiti from the time they uh, invaded Haiti illegally in 1915 and changed the constitution up till now. They also dismantled the Haitian army. When a country has no army, no armed forces, the people, they have no defense. You understand what I'm saying? Haiti can be invaded by DR anytime. There's nobody to stand up for Haiti. You understand what I'm saying? It was done by design. In addition, Biden created this Baroli program to bring Haitians here so they can shut the fuck up to pacify them. While America steal the resources, the iridium and oil, gold, and everything else that they need to steal from Haiti to pay down their debt. That's what they're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Right now, the street gangs that they outfitted with guns, those street gangs have broken into the biggest prison in Haiti. And they freed every killer, murderer, rapist in that prison. So these, these people are out in the streets right now. They're murdering police officers. I watch a disturbing video of a police officer getting his head bashed. There's not enough police officers in Haiti right now to defend the people, to protect the people. Most of the police officers in Haiti were trained in Missouri by America. A lot of them left Haiti through the Biden parolee program. Then they have this piece of shit puppet, Ariel Henry, that they put in, into power this piece of shit has made a deal with the U.S. where they want to give him $200 million while the U.S. extract about $100 billion worth of fucking, you know, resources out of Haiti. That's what's going on right now. It's not just the fucking Congo. It's everywhere. We're going to have to fucking have our own meeting, you know, wherever, so we can stand together and unite to fight these fucking demons. They're not letting up. I'm fucking sick and tired. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Coming out of Haiti, gangs in that area are trying to overthrow the government there. And that's forced one local group out in Florida to put their work on hold, delivering life-saving supplies. Fox 13 Tampa's Matthew McClellan joining us live this morning with an update. Matthew, good morning to you. You actually just spoke with the group. Gene, good morning. Yeah, and th this group is in a holding pattern. We'll have more from them in just a second. But one human rights expert on Haiti this week saying, look, I've never, ever seen it this bad. He says the situation there absolutely catastrophic. And this is the reason that we're seeing uh, this nonprofit group, Agape Flights, based out of Venice, about 60 miles to the south of Tampa, delaying a mission supply flight to Haiti that was planned for today, also delaying some flights there that were scheduled for tomorrow. The group helps deliver life-saving medical supplies and food to people in need. And its CEO says he reluctantly made this decision to temporarily suspend operations after speaking with a senior official in Haiti's aviation authority. Agape Flight says considering this week's attacks on Porto Prince airport as well as the potential for violence at other airport locations the group will wait to fly until the situation on the ground is more stable the nonprofit sharing this photo late wednesday a group of parents and children who fled the violence in the capital they have clean clothes they have food but missionaries on the ground say there's not a lot to smile about even around the country uh, they're just waiting to see what what's going to transpire with uh, both the interim prime minister uh, coming back into the country, if he's coming back or not, uh, who's going to be in control. So th there's, a, there's a lot of uh, anticipation as well as tension mounting there. Uh, because of the unrest and the unanswered questions.
The situation continuing to deteriorate with highly organized gangs attacking political targets like police stations and prisons. And on Tuesday, they tried taking over the main airport in the capital. Gang leaders, Gene, now making it clear their ultimate goal is to overthrow the government of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. When this group, Agape Flights, is able to uh, return to their operations, whether they'll be able to resume on, say, Monday or even over the weekend, that remains to be seen. But of course, they're looking out for their teams and their missionary affiliates there in Haiti. They want everybody to be able to stay safe amid all of this uncertainty and unrest and violence. Gina. Matt, just so much going on in the world. I want to ask you, you know, this organization, they are familiar with going out in different areas and providing aid, but have they spoken to you about any concerns of safety so that they can get back to their loved ones? Right, so this group, Agape Flights, does not have staff on the grounds. Their operation typically consists of flying in and, at, in and out of these airports uh, to deliver those supplies. So it's, it's really in and out of these airports uh, to deliver those supplies. So it's, it's really almost like a drop off. Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, we're going to give all praise and glory and honor this due to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Um, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and rule well and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. It wasn't a gospel brother from the standard of Yahweh, by Shimei Havashai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson through the spirit. Um, what you're seeing happening in Haiti is going to come soon here to Babylon the Great. As um, uh, I'm going to go back to this video because this Jake, he made mention in particular uh, this last video. When Jake was going off, he said, he mentioned about a guy named Ariel. I don't know if he said Henry or Agave. I can't remember what he said, unfortunately, but he made mention on how the Haitian president was assassinated. As we know, going back to the uh, attempt in 2021, as it says, Ariel Henry, Haitian neurosurgeon and politician who has served as an acting prime minister of Haiti, the acting president of Haiti since 20 July 2021 at the assassination of Jovenel Moise. Basically, um, the U.S. government, if I'm not mistaken, had him assassinated. And what they do, they set up puppet leaders in these countries to destabilize uh, the civilization. They overthrow things like government, and then they fund these gangs to be justified on deploying military to take over resources, to confiscate resources, man. Okay? Allegedly, they've been freeing gangs out of prisons. Cannibalism has come back. People are going batshit crazy. People are dying of starvation. And this is just the, the tip of the iceberg because we know that all that chaos that Esau has spread in these uh, third world countries, you're going to come home and you're going to reap that because the same ordeal that's happening in these countries is going to happen here in America, man. Okay, especially when you're letting all these migrants and or these immigrants into the whatever you want to call them, migrants, however you want to call it. You're letting these people into the borders. And they're doing things, quote unquote, illegally to be let out of prison to do the same shit elsewhere. You're looking uh this is basically like a bubble that's getting ready to explode. OK, it says Haitian Haiti's most notorious gang leader plots his future amid rebellion. And you got a guy by the name of Barbecue, which I believe he was like an ex police officer, if I'm not mistaken, turned gang member. But basically, uh he's. Ahead of the alleged chaos, which a lot of these guys are set up through Esau, man. A lot of these are agents paid to do this shit, to overthrow the country's infrastructure and the resources. Okay? But it says the most prominent leader behind an ongoing armed rebellion in Haiti has a simple message for the country's leader. Acting Prime Minister Ariel Henry stepped down and the violence ends, at least temporarily, because they know that this guy's a puppet. They know he's a sellout and they know he doesn't have the... The patient people or the Levi, he know that they don't have their best interests, so to speak. Okay, and the government there, well, I mean, the people, they're basically hip to the lies that Esau, Edom, has spread and the chaos that he, is, he has sold among these other nations, man. Okay, and they're pissed off at it. And, hey, that's coming here to America. Okay, like Apostle Tahar said, is Jacob's trouble, is the Haitians or is it Jacob's trouble in Haiti? Should I say so? Starvation, civil war. Okay, cannibalism, gangs, overthrowing the government, which them saying overthrowing the government is just a, a cold word of saying, well, we need to bring in armed forces in order to, quote unquote, stop these gangs. So technically, the, ain't, the, 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 the uh, government ain't doing nothing but the same shit that the alleged armed gangs are doing. 
But it says if Errol Henry resigns, we're going to call off a truce. We're going to call for a truce to evaluate the situation. It says Shirley's a company known as Barbecue called it a public pledge. But everywhere around the portal prints that is currently blocked or inaccessible will be reopened and will automatically and we will automatically stop the attacks on the police stations, he said. Which all this shit is set up. Okay, but they're attacking cops. I believe one cop got his head bashed in, you know, cannibalism. All types of shit, man. Because uh my brother sent this yesterday. It says breaking news. It says here's disturbing footage of the Haitian cannibal gang eating body parts of one of the victims as he cooks in a fire. It says the, ha the Haitian cannibal gang leader name is Barbecue <laughs> and is now the most powerful man in Haiti after their prime minister, Ariel Henry, fled. Okay, so basically that nigga led. Yeah, he got the, hey, <laughs> ran his ass up out of there because they know he's a piece of shit at the end of the day. Okay, you devils, you just, you just wicked. You know, but this whole chaos in the world descending into chaos, that's coming here in America, man. Okay, the fucking you think you think Biden is gonna be here in America when all hell breaking loose? He's gonna flee. You think these politicians and these state senators and these particular governors like Kathy Hochul, she's gonna flee when people start to, to really rise up and and and, and contend uh, for the government tyranny, man? Hey, these people they are gonna start coming against these leaders. They are gonna seek out senators, governors, politicians, lawyers, judges. These people are gonna literally. Flee for their lives because people are to the point they're tired of the bullshit. So that's what you have to look forward to here in the Babylon. Okay, Haiti is just the tip of the iceberg. But anyway, um, so going, matter of fact, let's go here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just go to, uh, uh, matter of fact, let's go to the book of Luke 12 and uh, 49 because this video actually wasn't planned. I just went off the fly of the spirit. But this is Luke 12 and 49. And it says, Yahweh Shai divides men. It says, If I come to send fire on earth, and what would I if it be already kindled? And these riots, these protests, you know, the overthrowing of the alleged overthrowing of governments. Because like I said, Jake even exposed it. He said that a lot of these gangs and a lot of these armed militias, he says that these gangs are being armed with U.S. issue AK-47s, meaning that the United States has basically caused a civil war in Haiti. Which is nothing new. I mean, they call civil war everywhere. But when civil war hits home, that's when they're going to be playing victim. Oh, well, we, we don't, you don't have a right to do this to us. But wait a minute, man. You've done it in Haiti. Haiti. You get the Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay, you got the whole thing going on in, uh, what's the name of that fucking place, man? You got all types of shit, man. Okay, Venezuela. Okay, you got the whole thing with the, uh, with the, with the, with the, uh, Palestinians. Now, allegedly, since, uh, this guy, Nectanada, you know, who kicked him out of Palestine. Basically, they have nowhere to go. So, allegedly, they may be coming over here to the United States. So, allegedly, from what I heard, Biden may be flying these Palestinians over to America, man, which is going to be a whole nother shitstorm, you know. So, they're already talking about in places like Boston and these Democrat-led cities uh, for us to start opening up our homes and allowing these migrants. And they even doing away with... Uh, or they even giving squatters rights to your property. Now, if you own a property, you have a house, and somebody that says to set up, decides to set up a tent in your back porch, eat Fritos and steal your power cable supplies and hook it up to light poles, you can't prosecute them for that, man. So this place is getting ready to descend into chaos, okay? And we told you that this current administration, this Biden administration, they never had the best interests of the people. Okay, now all you black women, you jakes, now you realize, oh man, we should have put Trump in office. We did, that, that, it doesn't matter who's in office, but at the end of the day, you know, the, the will of the Lord is going to stand. Okay, you're not supposed to be voting for any of these people, but you're supposed to be pledging for your Lord and Savior, who, name, who you ignorantly call Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shai. You're supposed to want him to come and rule over you, man. Okay, the 144,000 men, the elect men, that's who you want to be, your governors and your leaders and your, your priests and your prophets. Because we're going to rule in righteousness and equity. Okay, but anyway, it says here, I've come to send fire on the earth, and what would I have it been already kindled? Okay, so Yahweh Shai has come to send division among these people. And like Yahweh Shai said, matter of fact, let's get it in Matthew 24, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and we're saying that. Okay, Matthew 24, and I'm going to start at verse 6, and it says, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, okay? A civil war is still a war. Okay, they're talking about civil war in America, 
If the elections don't go according to plan, then they're going to riot. If Trump don't get reselected, then, hey, they're going to end up fucking burning cities down, possibly. Now, if he gets assassinated, that's when I can see it really going down. I can see that if he doesn't get reselected, I can see that people going to start, you know, having little riots here and there. But, you know, hey, nothing that won't be contained. Okay. If anything, they just going to play repeat of another four year cycle of what happened here, this, this, this term of Biden. But if Trump ends up allegedly dead, then I can see these proud boys, these Edomites really taking it there because Trump is their hero because basically he promotes a, a more uh, a conservative viewpoint, you know, instead of a, a, what you call liberal. But anyway, it reads, it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, okay? So Haiti is, is experiencing uh, uh, nation against nation, soon to be pestilence, people are dying from sicknesses and hunger and starvation. All because, um, you know, the government has set up, or the United States government basically assassinated their leader and then they brought in a, a, a puppet to assume the role of the United States of America. Now this plays the sins and chaos, just like they did in Venezuela. Venezuela, you know, they set up puppet leaders to do their bidding, and then once they overthrow the country, then everything becomes hyperinflated. Then they set up a central bank, and then before you know it, the people are complying to their deeds. Okay, and this is the same story, it's the same formula, okay, which will lead to second edges, the 15th chapter. Okay, because right now we're seeing this getting ready to jump off the pages. Okay, every country some form or fashion, all are experiencing their particular insurrections. Okay, so this is the book of 2nd Edges 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. It says the world. It says for sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people should fight against another and swords in their hand. Now, when you go back to these videos of this whole Haitian ordeal, hey, gangs, violence, all types of shit is happening, man. I mean, news is coming out daily. Even though we know a lot of this is you know, Esau generative, we know that it's Esau's narratives behind these videos and the, the stories, but deep down aside, there's a rooted cause of corruption that's deeply rooted in Esau that's causing hate. Popeye's new chicken wings make no sense. Okay. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand battered and flipped, and then we Now to the chaos happening in Haiti. Gangs launch. Now to the chaos happening in Haiti. Gangs and look at this devil. You, you look at him. You think he's uh, remorseful about this? Look at him. These, these, these are your, um, what they call your talking heads, your pronosticators, your, your, your forecasters, these news anchormen. Look at this devil. Smooth face, bald face, blue eyed, blonde haired devil, right? Look at him. He don't even have a, a, a remorse bone in his body for what's going on down there because he knows deep down inside. They're sparing the fucking narrative. A violent assault on the presidential behind. palace overnight. The Caribbean nation's you know? capital city, Port-au-Prince, paralyzed by gang violence, leaving Americans stranded, desperate to flee. And we want to warn you, some of these images are disturbing. Here's ABC's Inez de la Catara. Tonight, Haiti paralyzed by an explosion of violence. This elderly woman caught in the crossfire during a shootout between police and gangs in downtown Port-au-Prince. She survived. <laughs> the fierce fighting forcing thousands of residents to flee their homes. Natasha, now in a shelter with her three children. And I question this, like, okay, if it was really a shootout, do you really believe that TV anchorman would be in the midst of this shit? So it kind of makes me think, like, man, is this really the case? Is it really the case? Because I've noticed that they have a lot of actors, like, that shit that went down in Gaza back in October 7th. They were showing people literally place themselves in body bags and, and film footage is telling them what to say and how to act. So this is all a movie at the end of the day. But nonetheless, you have deeply rooted corruption in these societies, man. Okay, so don't believe everything you see, but this still gives us a depiction as to what the hell is going on. Okay, because I guarantee you, when all hell break loose, ain't no cameras gonna be on outside of the ones that people are recording, getting actual footage. Ain't gonna be no cameras. Dang. Okay, I've become a nomad. The government extending a state of emergency, armed gangs launching a massive coordinated assault against multiple government buildings, including oh. the presidential palace. 
after attacking prisons, freeing close to 5,000 prisoners over the last week. Gang kingpin Jimmy Barbecue Cherizier says the goal is to force acting Prime Minister Ariel Henry to step down, but warning of civil war and genocide if he does not. This as the State Department urges Americans to leave, but with both international airports closed, foreigners now stranded. Canadian citizen Richard Phillips could hear gunshots ringing out from his hotel. The country just deteriorated really, really quickly. The, the real fear is that if the police force collapses in Haiti, you become very vulnerable as a hostage, quite frankly. The acting prime minister was in Kenya when the violence first broke out and is now stuck in Puerto Rico. The U.S. says it has encouraged him to reach a compromise to end the ongoing political stalemate. Which truly alarming developments in Haiti. And as thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos. Yeah, that's the crazy behind every chaotic situation. You got a blind, blue-eyed devil. Okay, Esau is the problem. Esau is the fucking problem, man. Yeah, Jake is wicked too, but you know when Esau is around, that just ups the niggas' wickedness and radar. You know, he just ups his wickedness. They feed off each other, man. But it says, "Woe to them in the world that dwell therein." It says, "For the sword and the destruction draw nigh." And one people should stand up to fight against another with swords in their hand. This is a civil war, okay? And civil war is coming to America. Possibly this year. But anyway, it says, For there should be sedition among men, and we're seeing seditions. It says, Invading one another, and they should not regard their kings nor princes. Like, allegedly, this guy, Ario Henry, he fled. Okay? They said, Step down, or we're going to continue to do what we do. Bombing police stations and all types of shit. He fled. You know? But they're calling for him to step down, which is a form of, A, sedition among men. They're not regarding their kings nor princes in the course of their actions of standing in power. And the men should desire to go into the city and should not be able, as we read in the article, I mean, or in parts of the article, that men are not able to go into particular parts of the city because of the chaos and the violence. It says, for because of their pride, the city should be troubled and the houses should be destroyed and men should be afraid. And the men should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. So, hey. This second, that is 15 and 16 is going to be coming out a whole lot, okay? Because, hey, we're in those times, you see? So, um, with that being said, let's give one more precept, Habakkuk 2. And um, this is the result of it, man. Habakkuk 2. And I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, And should not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him? And say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his and high long. This is what the nations are saying to this devil. Okay, you have no business going into Haiti depleting them with the resources you've already took. Okay, during the time of the French Revolution, hey, you ran your ass up out of there. And this is the reason why Haiti is basically a, 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 a poverty state because they couldn't physically defeat in war. So therefore they had to defeat them politically, man, and monetarily, you know? So Haiti gets no type of funding, no type of resources. And basically they destabilize the economy. Okay, and this is the reason why it's poor. But before Haiti was rich in all types of resources, man. Okay, and you can look it up. But it says, and to him that lined himself with thick clay, which is debt, is that should they not rise up suddenly that should bite thee, and awake that should vex thee, and thou should be unto them for booties unto them, meaning spoil. And the reason because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people should spoil thee because of men's blood and for violence of the land of the city and all that dwell therein, man, okay? So, hey, your recompense is coming, Esau, because all that chaos you sowing in the, in, in the different parts of the earth, you're going to reap it right here in America, man. All you devils that have lived lavishly off the misery of these other nations, man, including our people, first and foremost, hey, you're going to have to reap that, okay, from the greatest to the smallest to the greatest, to the greatest to the least to the greatest. But woe to him that cover the evil covenants to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil, man, okay? But anyway, brothers, man, I'm going to end it here, giving all praises and glory and honor as due to you. How about you?